Hey everybody, it's Dan Sims with Success by Day, and today I'm going to be talking about something from this book, Blink, by Malcolm Gladwell. I'm talking about this used car salesperson who's uh, really successful in what he's doing because he's decided to fight the Warren Harding error. Basically, they took a test, it says, where they took 18 white men, 7 white women, 8 black women, and 5 black men, had them go into um, used car uh, sales lots all over the Northeast region, and studied the reactions uh, that they got from the used car salespeople, and they found that uh, used car salespeople subconsciously, they call them laydowns, they consider uh, black people and women uh, laydowns. They determined that uh, used car salespeople naturally or subconsciously look for a sucker, somebody that they can they can sell a premium package or sell the car to at sticker price. And they do this completely subconsciously. And Malcolm Gladwell says, if uh, the study was done by um, a man named Ayer, he says, if Ayer's study is evidence of conscious discrimination, then the car salesmen of Chicago are either the most outrageous of bigots, which seems unlikely, or so dense that they were oblivious to every one of those clues, equally unlikely. I think instead that there is something more subtle going on here. What if, for whatever reason, experience, car selling lore, what they've heard from other salesmen, they have a strong automatic association between laydowns and women and minorities? What if they link those two concepts in their mind unconsciously, the way that millions of Americans link the words evil and criminal with African American on the race IAT, which is a test he talked about previously in the book. So the reason I'm bringing this up is that this is just one example of preconceptions that we have toward things, and they can be completely subconscious a lot of the time. And in a lot of ways, they're limiting. He's talking about this car salesperson, Ray Galome, I think his name is, who was an incredibly successful car salesman because he knew that the Warren Harding errors were in effect in his trade, and he decided to ignore them. So whenever someone came into the car, the, the car sales lot, he treated them as if they were absolutely going to buy a car that day. And what he did was he got the business from those people that most car salespeople would turn away or, or um, try to oversell. The point is that we have preconceived notions that are really limitations for us, and sometimes they can even be subconscious limitations or ones that you don't know exist. And um, a good way to get rid of that is by, I mean, I bring this up all the time because it's, it's one of the best arguments and most relevant in today's society, I think, from John Milton in Areopagitica, a piece of prose that he wrote, where he says consuming the most amount of knowledge on one subject allows you to form your own opinions and learn as much as possible about that subject in order to perform better in that area. How this relates to you is if you are trying to find success or happiness or wealth or better relationships or a better career or start your own business or whatever, the point is that you need to get rid of those preconceived uh, notions. Um, I, I mean, a lot of people, including myself, call it the status quo. There's a status quo at work in our lives in more areas than we know of. Um, one of the biggest, I think, is education. We all feel like we have to go to middle school, go to high school, and go to undergrad. And, but the modern education system came about during the Industrial Revolution when they were trying to get kids into school to teach them to be employees so that they could work for other people and make money earn money for other people. So that's just one preconception we have, but you know, these are limiting factors in our lives. The way we think about success and happiness and education and careers and money and wealth and and family relationships, everything in our lives, we have some sort of preconceived notion and the fact remains that those preconceptions can be limiting. So in a lot of ways the the best thing to do is to get rid of that status quo, to learn the extremes of, of life and learn the pros and cons of, of everything, especially the things that you want to change because once you learn those, you're better equipped to make that change. So that's your success by day for today. I hope that was helpful. Um, this was a really great book. I highly recommend it. Um, I will leave a link in the description to this book and to my notes on this book in case you want to read those as well. And I will see you next time.